Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. We are Seek Adventures, and this week we are working on part two of our custom truck camper's frame. And thanks a lot, Jen, for the custom t-shirt. This is about to be the first rivet with the new air rivet gun. It's a power fist from Princess Auto, a 3 16 pneumatic riveter. end two corners are on. We have to reposition the plywood so that we'd be able to remove it after the rivets were installed. So we're going to go ahead and install the corners on the other end and we'll see how square it is once we take the plywood out. Take an 8 foot piece, cut it into 4 sections 24 inches long. And these will be the ones that go in the corners to bring us up to the height of the top of the box of the truck. So last night I was able to get the first vertical piece riveted onto the camper frame. I think it looks pretty cool and I'm excited of how it's going to turn out. So take a look. So today was a big day for the camper build. First time we got to set it on the back of the truck. So my dad was over, we had to measure the front pieces to know how high to put them to where the bunk extends out over the cab so that we weren't too tight when we finished the camper. So we put it on, we got it measured, and as you can see here now in the background, we have both of the side projections done where they shoot out over the box of the truck. And now we're going to work on doing the four corners and try and get the roof put on this and then build the part for the bunk. So we're having some fun. So I've got all my upright pieces cut that will go from the corners up to the roof and on the front they'll go from the corners to the bottom of the bunk. So I'm about to put the first one on here. It's 54 and an eighth of an inch and the max height should be about 82 inches which will fit through the garage door. So. I'm going to go ahead and put the rivets on and we'll keep going at it. I'm just adding the brackets that are going to hold the part of the bunk where we switch directions. So I'm going to put these on on the bench so that when it's upright it's not quite so hard for drilling. So I put in a late night working last night. I got the back sides up, got the front, the cross rail. Uh, today I'm just going to work on building the front of the bed. Uh, my camera died last night, so that's why I didn't get the video of these ones going up. So we'll keep going away here today, and my goal is to get the front of the bed done, maybe the face of the camper, and then the only thing left will be to figure out the angles for the roof. So I'm just going to use my speed square and make sure the front of the bed corners are all squared off before we put the corner brackets on. So learn an interesting story about these clamps. They used to belong to my grandmother. She used them for a quilting table and my dad went to borrow them one time and got in trouble for removing them from the house. So thankful that uh, they were willing to bring them over and let me borrow them. I'm about to put in the first rivet on the portion where the bunk is going to be above the cab.
case anybody's wondering why there's hats and mitts hanging on all my clamps throughout the garage, it's not just because I like to switch it up before every piece. These are eye protection, so when I bend over, I don't lean into the clamps. This rivet gun, I've put in probably well over 100 rivets now. It saves a pile of time. I do have a hand riveter. I was tempted to do one by hand. Why bother? This thing works great. So I've got some pieces of wood up on the top here and I'm just working towards trying to figure out what our angle is going to be on the front of the camper. I decided I'd try it with strapping first so I didn't mess up my cuts on the aluminum. So not really familiar with how to connect all these angles so it's taken a little bit of figuring but I think we're ready to try it with metal and we'll see how it looks. Hopefully everything lines up tight and we don't have to do it twice. The angle piece is all cut. We got them done for both sides. I'm now going to go ahead and put the rivets on. Uh, the angles were pretty tough to figure out. I have no plan for the camper, it's just build as we go. So I took a couple pieces of strapping, cut it on the angles, and we, I just played with it until I got the angle that I wanted, and then converted over to the aluminum. So now we'll put the rivets in it, and then we'll finally get to see what this thing's going to look like for the full outside shell. So it's Saturday morning, we got the two top rails down. These were the longest pieces on the camper. So we're going to cut the angles on them to do the back two corners. And once we get the corner brackets put on, we'll put a couple supports in. And then we'll be able to build our brackets for the angles to put the rivets on the front portion where the roof is sloped. And after that, we're going to put in a couple more braces, get rid of the heavy hardwood ones in the bottom, get rid of a few extra clamps. Then we're going to try it on the truck, so I'm looking forward to seeing how it looks. So I've got all the pieces cut to put up on the roof. we got the back piece that goes across, the two sides, everything's ready to go. did have one issue when I opened up the garage door. I had everything clamped together and my strapping was too high and it knocked it all apart. So that'll take some figuring to get it back together. But I got my corners for the rear and I cut these flat plates to go on the brackets where the angles go on the front. So we'll put them up, trace them, cut them to size, rivet them in, and then once the weld's on, they should be good and strong. So now we'll put the top on and that'll just about tie things up.
So I just finished putting all the cross bracing on the top of the camper. The only thing left to do up there now is to put the four inch piece of flat aluminum across it, which will give us something on each edge for our panels to rivet to. Up in the front, I need to do a little bit more bracing so I can take off the brackets that are holding it up off of the floor. That way, next episode, when we put it on the truck, it'll be freestanding and we'll try and take it for a drive. So if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe, follow along, and uh, let us know in the comments where you're watching from. So again, see you next time.